We had a really interesting guest this past Shabbat for Friday night dinner. Um, this is a businessman who, who's visiting Israel from Singapore, and he works for Coca-Cola. And he is in charge of buying all of the sugar for the Coca-Cola Corporation. This means that this man is the largest customer of sugar in the whole world. So when this person, you know, when he was telling us about his, about his job, um, my first thought was, you know, what a lovely person and what an awful job, you know, to be producing one of the, one of the, you know, the soft drink, which is responsible for, you know, destroying the teeth and the health of so many human beings all over the world, you know, what an awful job. But then he said something that surprised me. He said, you know what I love working, you know what I love about working for Coca-Cola? Is that I love having a job that gives you such a sense of meaning in life. So I was a bit taken aback, taken aback by that, like what, like meaning? Me, like you're working, you're buying sugar for Coca-Cola and there's meaning in that life? Um, so in a very non-confrontational way, I tried to say, you know, so what is this feeling of meaning that you have from buying sugar for Coca-Cola? And he said, I'll tell you something. He said, I am the biggest purchaser of sugar in the whole world. So I can go to, you know, the largest sugar producing country in the world, which is Brazil. And I can say to them, look, Coca-Cola is an ethical company and we have certain standards. For example, we are opposed to, we are opposed to, to child labor. So if you in your sugar industry, if you continue employing, you know, seven-year-olds and eight-year-olds to cut down your sugar cane, no, it's the end of your, it's the end of your sugar industry because we, your number one customer, Coca-Cola, is going to stop purchasing from you. So in that way, this one person, he is a way of, um, he, he, can, he, can, he can really, really improve the world. He can do tikkun olam because he can, because he can bring more ethical practices into the, ethical, ethical work practices into the sugar industry. So I thought, well, that's very industry, interesting. And he said, also, you know, Coca-Cola is, um, is committed to healthy environmental uh, policy. So if in the sugar industry, then, then we see you know, that, that they're, you know, building, that they're, that they're growing sugar cane on um, you know, cut down rainforests, then Coca-Cola says, no, we're not into that. You can continue doing whatever you would like environmentally, but we're not going to buy from you. You have, to, you have to maintain a certain standard of environmentally friendly policies. So, you know, so I went into the kitchen um, between, you know, between the soup and the meat course, and I was washing dishes, and I was thinking about that. I was thinking about this person, and I was wondering, you know, I was going back and forth, and I was thinking, okay, so here's this person, he's personally responsible for destroying the teeth and the health of, you know, so many people over, all over the world, but he's doing a lot of good. He's really doing a lot of good, so I was going back and forth, and was it better, than, if it, if it, is it, if it, is it better, like, is he doing more good than bad, is he doing more bad than those good? And I was going back and forth and back and forth. And just at that moment, I was washing those dishes, and I was just thinking, you know, what a satisfying feeling it is to be a Jewish mom. Because I know, I know that, you know, God gave me children, and so therefore, my mission in life is to take care of those children, and my mission in life is here to take care of this Jewish home because this, because this is what God gave me. And you know, let's say like there are many people in the world who don't have children. There are many of the people in the world who, don't, who never even get married. Or who get married and then for whatever reason then they're not able to become mothers. And here I am, you know, whether God has given you one child or three children or seven children or 16 children, you know, your mission in life as a Jewish mom, your mission in life is so clear. You know, we have, we spend the day doing one act of loving kindness after another. We go from one act of chesed, loving kindness, throughout the whole day after another. And what a tremendously, tremendously satisfying feeling. You know, like whether you're changing a diaper, or wiping a nose, or washing another dish between, you know, between courses of the Shabbat meal, 
You are doing exactly, but exactly what God wants from you. What a tremendously satisfying feeling. So I want to bless all of us Jewish moms that we should really, really feel constantly this sense of satisfaction of knowing that we are doing exactly, exactly what God wants from us. I want to bless everyone with an amazing week and thank you.